Hi guys. Pisces. Where's Mitchell? Can you? Hi guys. Come on in, hop up. Come on. Hey guys, hey, long time no see, bestie. I'm glad to be catching live. Oh, save the journals. Did you see my comment on your video? No, Nat, what was it? What was the comment? I missed it. Hey, sister from Texas. Oh, Amber. Hi, Bree. Hi, it's a boyge mini. <laughs> I can't read that name. Well, you want to sit on my lap, do you? Well, there's a pillow on my lap and an iPad, so it's going to be a bit difficult. Sorry about that. How are you? I'm great, darling. I'm very busy today, guys. This isn't going to be the longest live, and I may not, may not do a live later. Look forward to your lives. Keeps me on track. Oh, good. And he is texting me first. Oh, what's this, Nat? Oh, look at this. You're right. You're right there. You're just going to sit there, are you? Well, that's not going to help anyone. No one really can see me. Maybe you should sit down, down a bit. Why don't you sit here? That's it. That's a good spot. Hang on. What did you say, Nat? I missed it. And he is texting me first. Hang on. Where's the beginning of this? He's texting you first? Wonderful, darling. Wonderful. I totally used your affirmations and they worked. Oh, wonderful. Oh, there's a whole lot of dumb bitches commenting on my latest one about third parties saying, this is bad karma and this you should use the affirmation that if this relationship's right for me, it will come back. Or the relationship that's right for me, I'm thinking, oh, fuck, I've attracted a whole lot of karma, LOA bitches on this fucking video. Oh, Jesus. Wait for the comments, guys. You'll see them. It's just endless. I must do a video on that video and the other one about fuck the third party about how dumb all these girls are that they don't understand that they created the third party coming along and they're commenting saying, I'll just find the next guy and they're not realising they'll create a third party with the next guy. But they're not understanding how they created it. Are you right? I just, it, you're disturbing the whole life. Hang on. Well, sometimes I get sudden rushes of doubt with this P. What affirmation is going to say? I run this shit. I created the breakup. Can't I uncreate it? I masterfully created all the shit in my life that I can see before me. Wow, I'm a master manifester. Things like that, darling. What's, what's the 3D, the way you can explain that? The 3D, it's what you see in front of you, darling. The 5Ds up here, what you imagined, it reflects out into your reality, what people call reality, and then it becomes hardened into fact out with your eyeballs that you can see. That's the 3D world out here, darling, where you can see. But you're meant to see it here first, and then it reflects out. I don't know which SP. What's this? My therapist said I have to accept the breakup and move on. I feel conflicted. Well, change therapist, Yasmin. Some therapists are idiot. Or don't fucking talk to her about it. So, guys, some therapists just have no clue about doing affirmations, about creating a reality, about how negative thinking's causing your reality. If your therapist is that fucking dumb and she's saying to you, accept and move on, then either change therapists or stop talking to her about it. Guys, I don't know why you're talking to them about it. You clearly went to the therapy because of the breakup and now you're expecting her to change her mind. If she's not someone akin to these kind of ideas, she won't agree with you and it's going to be in conflict with what you're saying. So don't discuss this with her. Just go, yeah, 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 I'll get over it. Anyway, let's talk about my childhood. Whatever the fuck it is you're talking about in therapy, guys, don't talk to them about it. You're right, look at this. You're just sitting on a cushion, are you? You're right there? You're just going to sit right on a cushion. People's heads have to go there. That's just so unsanitary. That's just gross. <laughs> so gross. He said, thank you for not being so mad. I'm so glad I didn't react. What's this step? Hang on. Now let me see this. But I was able to bring it back, not be rejected, and finally told him I didn't feel well either. Hang on. I've got to get this whole thing. Then three hours later, blah, blah, blah. Where's the beginning of this? Jesus. I hate these in 10,000 parts. Lots. SP reached out and wanted to see me today. I felt like crap, literally, but I was excited. Been, yes. Then three hours later, he texts rain check. He wasn't feeling well. Yep. I freaked out and panicked. Why? But was able to bring it back, not feel rejected, and finally told him I didn't feel well, well either. And he said, thank you for not being mad. I'm glad I didn't react. Wonderful, darling. You didn't spiral. You didn't react. Great, you saw good meaning in it all that he actually wanted to see you, but he was sick too. Good, darling. So I went to a comedy show last night and they talked about manifestation. Did they? Were they taking the piss? 
It's his birthday today, affirming for the best. Good, Rob. Look, darling, you can reach out to them on their birthday. It's just don't spiral if they don't reach out back. You know what I mean? Do it with confidence if you're going to, Rob. Oh, Kitty is the king. Oh, yeah, she fucking rules the house. Look at this. Just rules the house. You're right there. You're just sitting on top of a cushion, like the queen of the world. Look, just runs the place. <laughs> Lost my SP cheated on me. I don't know if I want him back, but I don't want it to happen again. Darling, look, if they've cheated on you, at some point you have to accept that you created whatever shitty circumstance happened, including cheating, and I know how hard that is, okay? You have to go and watch my videos on cheaters, cheating, and understand that you created it. If you can't understand that, and you can't accept it, and you can't forgive them, I would move on to someone else and really hope that your shitty self-concept doesn't kick in with the next person and they don't cheat. You really have to understand that you caused it. Otherwise, if you don't forgive them, what is the point of having this person back? Because one day, you'll flare up at them or spiral about something and you'll suspect they're going to cheat on you and you'll always think another girl's a threat and they'll cheat again or you'll break up again because you've never forgiven them. If they're a cheater, guys, you have to fully forgive them and more than anything, you have to forgive yourself. Otherwise, what is the point of getting that person back? Um, mine has been saying, good night, love, or good night, beautiful. Oh, has he just? Love it. What are some affirmations for having an SP come back into my life? Guys, Control Rebecca, you've been here forever and you're asking me that. I want you to work on your self-concept and saying they are with you already. I love your star and the Oscar in the background. Oh, see my Oscar? I'll get it for you. Oh, I can't reach it. But I had a breakdown once about that I wasn't doing what I wanted to do with my life and I was helping my brother with a project. And when he left London, um... I got this package arrived one day and I thought it was coffee. I thought it was Amazon delivering coffee. And when I opened it, I was on the phone to my old best friend at the time. And I just burst out crying. She said, what is it? It's an Oscar. Because my brother's always known I've been an actor. And it says, on the bottom of the Oscar, it says, if you believe in yourself, anything is possible. That's what my brother made for me, isn't he? Sorry. Um... SP mentioned me living with him in his house and he said he can't stop thinking about me. Oh, Emma, really? <gasps> living with you. Oh, darling, that's wonderful. Living with him. What's this, Emily? I walk there every day. Never seen wedding photos been taken there. I thought it's great, guys. What's this, Emily? Hang on, hang on. It's easy for me to find you because your picture stands out. A pics by my house in the ravine. Ten minutes later, I saw a bride and groom in the parks taking pics. Oh, you were there, and then you saw a bride and groom. Went on a walk today, had a passing thought about our engagement pics, was thinking, should have done our pics by my house in the ravine. Ten minutes later, I saw a bride and groom in the park right there. Oh, wonderful, darling. That's great. You manifest it. Um, hello, extra happy today. Hey, huge birds for land. Oh, dear David, did you? Loz, watch your latest video. I have some questions about how to affirm that. Which one? Yes, what's the question, darling? SP is downloading dating apps, lol. How do you know that, Melissa? Do you have a fear that other girls' competition? Are they doing that in front of you? Is your self-concept so low that they're doing shit like that in front of your face? Work on your self-concept, darling. How do you know that information? Lois, well, I've had movement after six months no contact, after one day of affirming and living in the end. Oh, my God! N.Y. Cole Yanak. That's wonderful, darling! <laughs> after six months no contact and one day of affirming and living in the end. Holy shit, keep going, darling. Keep going. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Oh, crying happy tears about your Oscar. Yeah, it's lovely. Wish I could reach it and I could show you what it says. Say it's long-term, three different illnesses. He says he has to be treated for it. It's keeping us apart. What's this, Empress Collective? Oh, fuck, there's so many messages. Ten that Guys, try and put it in one sentence if you can. Because I can't read these. It's like 10,000 people here, 150 people, and I'm getting it in like 50 different parts. What should I do if you feel sad one day while manifesting SP? How to handle it? Just have a big cry and jump on the horse the next day, darling. Don't worry about it. My SP was in the hospital for three days and everyone referred to me as his wife and he agreed. Oh, and he agreed with them. <laughs> Love it, darling. My SP has been in hospital last one and a half years. I always see him as healthy but seems never ending. And they, oh, that's what you're talking about. And they something and they're saying there's no hope for him or whatever. Darling, you've just got to do it then for him. Imagine him healthy for him. And don't worry about what all the family are doing. Mm -hmm. Or what the doctors are saying. Okay. But I'm nosy. What's this, Melissa? What the fuck are you, you were searching, were you? To see if he was looking at 
If you're being nosy, guys, let me just give you the tip right now. You'll, you'll manifest cheating. You'll manifest them talking to other girls if you're nosy because literally the idea of nosiness behind that nosiness is fear that he's going to cheat, fear that other girls competition, fear that he doesn't love you, fear that he's talking to other girls and he'll literally do it because you're manifesting that with your fear. So just snooping and just checking and just being nosy, giving you the tip right now, you're going to manifest him cheating on you. So good luck with that nosiness. That's coming from insecurity and you've got to fucking work on your self-concept and stop snooping around looking at his phone. Got it? Reoccurring numbers and three consecutive dreams of my SL examples of birds for land. Reoccurring numbers, guys, are just reoccurring numbers. If you want to believe in them as angel numbers or whatever this bullshit is, you can. But they're reoccurring numbers that your reticular activating system are noticing. That's literally all it is. If you see your SP's name everywhere, it's your reticular activating system noticing that name. I'm really sorry. But you can give it the meaning that it's a sign, that it's birds for land. Go ahead. But it literally doesn't mean anything. Just so you know. I love your videos. Oh, thanks, Nikita. I keep affirming you can't go a day without contacting me. Good, that's lovely. If I manifested the opposite and she said she wants nothing to do with me, does that mean it's over? No, guys, what they say is a reflection of your old thinking. If she's saying, I want nothing to do with you, did you once think she wanted nothing to do with you? Did you once think that she didn't love you? Did you once think that you weren't ever going to get back together? Did you once think manifesting would never work? That's why they say it. To see it as old you out of their mouth. And keep going. Right there, you're just gonna sit there with over my arm. God damn it. Uh yes, don't check the socials. Yes, guys, please don't. Hey Loz, I got two promotions in one month. Now I'm going my SP to move to Sydney. Oh, wonderful darling. Congratulations. Loz, if right, I've done it in a previous relationship. Loz is right, I've done it in a previous relationship. Yeah, guys, please don't snoop. Got it. Okay, got it, Melissa. I had a Zoom today with Manifestation Buddies. It was awesome. Oh, did you, darling? What a great idea. What general laws? Health affirmations worked. The specialist gave me great news at my appointment. Thank you. Oh, wonderful, Daniel. Hooray. Yeah, you just tell those fuckers what you want them to say at your appointment. Absolutely. Humbly asking, can you explain how God plays a part in all of this? Well, you are gods, okay? So if you read the Bible again and again and again, you'll understand that the translations have been very, very misleading, Okay. And if you read it as a book about you and you read it again, you'll understand that the entire book describes you. It says, I am this, I am that, I am the light, I am the way. Why does it say he? He is this, he is that, he is God on high, la la. It doesn't say that a lot. It says, I am a lot. And why is it saying that? Your I amness is God in you. It says throughout the Bible that you are all gods. Do you not know that Jesus Christ is in you? Test yourself and see. I am a God, but so are you. It tells you the whole way through. God made himself like man in, in man's likeness. Or made, what does it say? God, man made himself in God's likeness. Or God made himself in man's likeness, right? So the way Neville teaches it is, you can either think that there's a higher power and there's also you as God, but also you are just God. One of the two. Okay, I don't believe in the outside power. Neville talks about God and then God becomes you. Okay, but I just believe that we are all gods and that's it. Okay, we were created to create we are created to be the creators. It's no coincidence that the first book in the Bible is about creation. Okay, It's telling you how to create, that you have the power within you. Source energy, God in you, infinite intelligence, whatever you want to call it, is what creates. And that is your subconscious. That is your human imagination. Okay, So I believe from what I've learned and from what I can see from my experience that I am all-powerful. Meaning I am my own God. That's my belief, okay? So it's how you want to see that is whether it's an outside power or it's simply you. We are the beginning and the end. Yes, exactly. Old fearful thoughts don't have to manifest. Is you say, is you stayed revising them and they won't? If you stop, if you kept revising them, yes, if you kept revising them, guys, but don't worry that they might manifest. Okay, they might. Then you can revise it again. Can you sit down? God's sake. Um, SP dumped me yesterday. Oh, no, darling. He said he wanted to be with me again and we are here. Okay, so he said he wanted to be with you again. What fearful thoughts were you having before you met up with him, before you spoke to him, before he said that? Okay, what fearful thoughts were you having that this might not work or he didn't want you, he wasn't serious, or it was too good to be true? What fearful thoughts were you having, darling? And if it wasn't fearful thoughts yesterday, it's old thoughts playing out that he didn't want you and now, ta-da, here you are. Okay, so just revise what happened. Imagine you and him together. Imagine it was a mistake. Imagine he wishes he'd never said it. Okay. 
Guys, when it's just happened, it's really easy to revise it, like as if it never happened, and he's going to ring you tomorrow and say, I'm sorry, babe, I don't know why I was saying that. Jesus was an example to show man how it's done. Exactly, Zetty. Zetty knows all about it. Zetty is a pastor, so Zetty does know what she's talking about, okay? We create as God creates. Yes, listen to Zetty, guys. Jesus was the example to show man how it's done. He's like, look at me with the loaves, with the fishes. Look at me, look at me. Okay, he wasn't a magician. Loz, my self-concept is so high, I have guys hitting on me every day. <laughs> Sorry, that's great. <laughs> Hello, kitty, so cute. Oh, I know, she's demanding as hell. Affirmations to afford to move to another city. I love living in whatever city it is. Look, 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 look here, just sitting on the cushion. Excuse me, you right? How rude. God, darling, just imagine you live in the other city. I love living in, and however that comes about, you won't have to worry about affording it. You just go and live there. So I might offer you a job there. Uh, Loz, if I gave the space good meaning, it doesn't affirming or acknowledging the space just create more space? No, you can acknowledge the breakup and say we had to have this breakup. Look, a lot of you can't revise the breakup and think you never broke up and think you're together now. Some of you find that very hard. You don't have to acknowledge the space and revise at the same time and think you've not broken up. That's hard. You either think you've broken up and there's meaning behind it, like you need to go and work on your self-concept that we'll be back any day now, and you and him getting back together is inevitable. You can think of it that way. Or you could just be like we never broke up. Either way, you can't do both because it's clunky for your brain. Mm -hmm. Uh... I have men pulling over to tell me how hot I am and honking and waving. Oh, my God, while I'm walking. <laughs> great, you like with Liz, that's great. If you want to manifest anything, you need to reconnect with yourself. Everything starts from within. Yes, Zetty. You speak the truth. Kitty is learning about manifestation with Loz. Oh, she's so fucking demanding. I think all cats are master manifestors. They just get whatever the hell they want, whenever they want it. They don't take no for an answer. They just get, like, all the time. <laughs> How do I step more into my feminine energy? Just stop doing things, darling. Start being instead of doing. Mm -hmm. And be more vulnerable if you can. Be more open with your feelings. My SP will be telling me soon he's having dreams about me too. Wonderful. Love that. I literally spoke to all my exes, even the one from 15 years ago. Haha, <laughs> self-concept, so on point. Ah, oh, I love that. We walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, guys, those of you who are looking at the 3D all the time and checking the socials, you walk by faith, not by sight. Are you having the faith that you don't even have to look at the socials? Are you doing it with your faith or are you doing it with sight? Are you Are looking at things, looking for validation, looking at the socials? If you're doing it that, you're doing it wrong. My cat learned how to tell my mum to video chat so she can see me. So smart. <laughs> I used to video chat with the dog um, FaceTime from England and my mum used to hold the phone up and the cat was just like, oh yeah, she's there. The dog was like, couldn't understand where the sound was coming from. She was so fucking dumb. She's like, where's her voice? Uh, where is she? Where is she? Run around the room. The cat was like, God, you're dumb. She's right there. She's in the screen. It's a screen. It's an Apple device. <laughs> the cat's like, Jesus Christ. I'm afraid of power cut and it keeps going off even though I firm through it. If you're afraid of the power cut, it'll keep going off. So stop being afraid of it. My power's always on. I have perfect electricity. Start saying that. If you fear it, darling, it'll happen. It's like if you fear things breaking down in your house, they'll break down. Stop doing that. I'm starting to automatically think SP is in love with me without even trying. Wonderful, guys. Wonderful. Just made a list of things I manifested both consciously and not. Well, I didn't know it. It was very eye-opening. Guys, if you make a list of what you unconsciously manifested, all the shit you didn't want, it'll really shock the shit out of you. It'll scare you. You'll be like, oh, my God, I've been doing this all my life. It just clicked for me two days ago to change the old hurt of my SP. Yes, guys, you can't be still hurt by them. If you're hurt by them, please stop trying to manifest them until you get over that. Please get over it. When you get them back, what are you going to do? Fight with them about it later on and break up with them again because you're still hurt because you haven't got over it? What's this? First of all, land moment, my ex-husband told me he's been dreaming about me. Oh, not the one you want, another ex. Your relationship with your SP is a direct reflection of your relationship with yourself. Yes, Etty. If you think you're not chosen in life, they won't choose you. If you think you're not lovable, they won't think you're lovable. He started changing so fast. What's this? Uh, if I talk to his picture, will he hear me in his brain? Guys, you don't understand this thing. Some of you are thinking it's like I'm saying, 
As soon as you say the thought, they're hearing you in their brain. It's not that, guys. It's like slowly but surely, the thought that you've sent out, the things you're saying, go into their brain as if it was their thinking. Okay, some of you are really misconstruing what thought transmission is. You think it's like they suddenly hear what you've said when you look at the picture. It's not that. It's like manifesting slowly happens out in the 3D, right? Sometimes it's sudden, but most of the time it's slow. So as you send the thought out, slowly but surely it goes into their mind eventually and they start thinking it as they're thinking in their brain. Yes, darling, in their mind. Um... Affirmations to be accepted into a school program. Just imagine you're already accepted, darling. Imagine you go to that school. I love being at such and such school. I love being a student at... I got into that program so easily. How to respond to SP in the moment when he says he just wants casual and doesn't trust anyone? See, Luna, you've got to work on your self-concept, darling, if you're saying that shit, okay? That's you feeling not good enough, feeling like you're just good for sex and that's all, that he just wants your body and nothing else, that he doesn't love you, he doesn't want you that he's been hurt in the past, he's got trust issues, whatever the fucking thoughts you are have about him, get rid of those and get those thoughts out of your brain about you not being good enough to be the girlfriend, darling. If they say things like that, you can just go, really? Mm-hmm. If you say so. Or whatever. Just respond however you think you should respond, darling. I can't give you the response in the 3D. Had some triggers yesterday that brought me back to traumas, but I knew it was just the old story, wonderful Shafrana. Look, guys, sometimes you do get triggered in the 3D and you think, oh, this shit again, oh, great. I was talking to my best mate about that the other night, about when do your triggers go away? And I said to her, really, a lot of the triggers come up in relationships. So you might think you're over all your triggers and you get back in your relationship again and you get triggered again. And she was like, oh, no, you don't need a relationship to be triggered. I'm like, bitch, that's when they come out. <laughs> don't be fooled. Reached out today, got a liked message, progress here. We'll message soon. Wonderful, Dylan. Love that. How to respond to SP in the moment when he says he just wants casual eyes all at So Dylan, just give that all good meaning, darling, and imagine he's thinking of something to say to you, okay? It's all working behind the scenes, all right? And you can't stop thinking about you now. I saw a purple car this week. It was the most obnoxious purple. Oh, really, darling? Um, how can I completely recreate my SP? You've got to re completely recreate yourself. Have you done that yet? Or are you just focusing on them? Them, 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 them. You have to change you first, guys. I can't say this enough. A psychic told me... Uh, what are you saying? A psychic told me I met the man I'm going to marry and I've been saying that I'm engaged SP. Okay, fine. So give it good meaning. Don't give anything the psychic said bad meaning. That's good. I thought you were going to write something bad then. That's why I groaned. Um, lol, my SP, my old SP told me he was only looking for casual but asked me to be his girlfriend two weeks later. Yes, exactly, guys. They can say that the next minute you're being introduced as the girlfriend. Don't worry about it. Yes, I've fully worked on self-concept, but he's not changing fully. Well, then you've got to be patient, darling. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. It doesn't happen overnight. You've got to see the new them, the new them, the new them constantly and not be triggered by anything that's represented by the old them, okay? My boyfriend lost a family member and he has been distant and repressing his emotions. What can I affirm? Stop affirming his distance. Stop affirming his repressing his emotions. Stop saying it's affected him. Say, I'm his soft place to land. He needs to talk to me about it. I'm the only person he wants to talk to about this. He needs me through this time. Mm hmm my subconscious was really trying to fight me with some terrible thoughts, but I'm winning. Good, guys. It will. Don't worry about it. And if I look at SP's Instagram solely to imagine myself being the one who takes the stories, what's this? Blake, what do you say? I missed the beginning. He's thinking about me more than ever now. Yes, darling. Love that. Where's the beginning of this? Thoughts are mostly positive, but once or twice a day, old thoughts creep in. Will it manifest? Don't think they will, darling. Don't worry about it. Suggestions on what to do between the affirmations and the full manifestation. What are you talking about, sassy with words? Between the full manifestation and the affirmations. Live in the end. Live in the end as if it's done. Guys, some of you are doing this like, oh, well, when this comes, what do I do in the meantime, in this time gap? I want you to imagine it's here already. I don't want you to be in the state of waiting. I want you to imagine it's here already. You're doing that. You're not if you're waiting for it. Got it? I know that sounds weird, but you've really got to live in the end, guys. Um, hang on, pressing buttons all over the place. I told my ex's girlfriend he cheated with me. How can I affirm they stay broken up? Loz, help. What? I told my ex's girlfriend with me, he cheated with me. How can I affirm they stay broken up? Danielle, um, them breaking up is going to have no bearing on whether you get back together with him. For some reason, you're thinking him breaking up with her and he, her knowing that information is going to actually help you. It won't help you at all. Are you imagining you and he are together? Or you're just trying to break them up. He might break up with her because she goes to him and says, 
you cheated on me, he goes, okay, bitch, see ya, and goes, finds another girl. How's it going to help you? Please go and watch all my videos on third parties because you're lost. You're not concentrating on you and him together. You're concentrating on the third party. If you keep concentrating on the ex going to her, telling her shit, it'll just make you look like a fucking psychopath in his eyes and you're meddling and you're needy and desperate and it's not going to help the situation. You've got to imagine you and he together and work on your self-concept that caused him to leave you in the first place. Before finding you, my self-concept was absolute shit. Now I'm rocking my self-concept. Thank you. Oh, good, darling. Happy, love, beauty. That's great. What? Your affirmations are what you want to experience. Boom. There you go. Yep. Your affirmations are what you want to experience. If you don't want to experience something, guys, stop thinking about it. Like, seriously. Neville says, as soon as you have the bad thought, just banish it immediately because you'll start to experience it in the 3D because you're thinking it dominantly. Get rid of it. That's why he revised his day every night, guys. A lot of people don't understand that's why he did it because he didn't want to produce any old thoughts he had, any bad thoughts he had during the day, any bad affirmations in his brain. What you're thinking constantly, what you don't want, is an affirmation. You're affirming it is true. Affirming isn't an activity. It's changing the thinking you currently have, changing it from what you don't want to what you do want. Should we be constant with the affirming? Is it necessary to write them? No, it's not necessary to write them, guys. Writing them won't, won't do shit. You've got to think them. Laws, affirmations to be thinner again. I gained a little bit of weight. I am so wonderfully thin. Everyone's commenting on how thin I am. Weight is falling off me. Mm -hmm. What old videos of yours do you say to watch for getting over being mad at the ex? Guys, you've got to work on your self-concept. You've got to watch number 41 about the old story. Anything about old story. Type in old story in the search bar and watch number 41 over and over and over again until you get this. You can't be mad at them because you're just getting, you've got to get mad at yourself for causing it. If you're mad at them, guys, you're really not getting you're causing it. You're really not getting that you cause whatever you're hurt by. You're really not understanding it. And then go and watch the series in my TikTok called How to Manifest an Apology. I don't have playlists yet, guys, so I can't put them in playlists. Scroll down. I've got a white top on. It's about six parts. How to manifest an apology. It's all the way down the bottom towards the bottom of the page. Go and watch that over and over and over again so it fucking sinks in finally that you caused it. So what's the point of being hurt by them? There's no point. You did it. Please go and watch that over and over until it really sinks in. What if there's just too much revised? Do we just go over to a time where everything was fine and lived in the end? Yes, guys, you can do that if there's too much revised. Just go back to the, imagining the good them that turned up originally. Imagine they're that person now. Got my hair. This is terrible, this light with my hair sitting here like this. What bloody awful. Um, if you're focused on what other people did, then your things won't change. Yes, guys, please stop focusing on what they did. You caused it. Stop focusing on it if you caused it. Stay consistent, persistent, and patient. Quit focusing on your circumstances. It's all you. Yes, Brittany, for God's sake, please listen to Brittany. She speaks the truth. All right, guys. I am going to go. On walks, I imagine they are walking with me. Oh, that's lovely, Dylan. I love that. When you say we should look at their socials, can I do it to imagine myself talking to his stories? Oh, guys, look. Some of you are just so desperate to look at their socials. Oh, give me give me a reason why I can look at his socials as positive because I'm so desperate to look at them and I want a really good reason to do it because I can't keep away and I have fucking zero self-control, Blake. I don't believe you. Can't you have an imagination? Can't you imagine their photo? Can't you imagine their face? What you've forgotten what he looks like, do you? you have to look on the socials, do you? I don't believe you. Guys, some of you are full of shit about the socials. Oh, I just happened across it. Oh, I just... No, you didn't. No, I don't believe you. Never look at the socials, never. Yes, guys. Love you, Loz. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> You're welcome, Doug. If you only do self-concept not focus on SP, he will still come. Yes, Deborah. Yes, that's right. All right, guys, I'm really good to go. Please do follow me if you don't follow already. Oh, thanks for the roses, darling, and cinnamon. And Amy, thanks guys. Please do follow me if you don't follow me already. I go live twice daily. I may not go live today. I'll see. Uh, I've got so much to do and I've got to get these courses out and get the website done. That's the most important thing today is talking to Nahal about the website. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And please do come to the Facebook group and you can watch all these lives back in there and ask questions in the forum. I'll be posting another Q&A forum today. Just look for the Neville Goddard quote and put your questions under that. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. See you later.